What is going on guys and in this video I'll be showing you all the items in the anniversary collection event here So let's jump right into this starting right off with the lovely bloodhound skin So this will require you to get all 24 items in this event to actually get this unlocked here So here's the first skin you guys can unlock there. So this is gonna be the first step one basically tier one there Looks pretty cool moving over to the next one, which will be tier two See the changing of the helmet there I can imagine what some of these skins will look like for the other characters. Really looking forward to seeing these in the future. Although it'll probably be a long time before we have more of these, I'd say. I wonder if they're going to do these every year. That would be pretty interesting. Here is Tier 3, which is the final one, which is the one that obviously people are seeing in the trailers and all that. Really do like how that looks. I'm sure a lot of Bloodhound mains are going to want to grab this. And then finally, you'll also get the Finisher, which is 100,000 damage as Bloodhound. Pretty awesome looking finisher there. Anyway, let's move over to the items now, starting right off with the purple one. So the first one is going to be a skin for Horizon. Kind of liking these skins so far already. I really do like what they're doing with the collection event skins. Um, normally, they're a lot better than other events. I have to admit that. Some of them are kind of a disappointment in the other events there. Uh, but this one, nonetheless, though, looks pretty awesome. Here's the Pathfinder skin. So these are going to be 800 material for the purple, which is normal, and then 1,000 credit if you guys want to buy them. So getting the uh, actual Bloodhound skin is going to cost some money. Unless you guys have a ton of materials, which I don't think anyone's going to have. It's like 15,000 material laying around like that. Moving over to the Ash skin. I'm really liking how this one looks as well. And I don't even use Ash, and I would definitely put this skin on. I mean, that looks pretty awesome. Really shiny as well. Moving over to the car. Sometimes the purple skins in this game really don't look that good. Um, but these actually don't look too bad. So this is a pretty cool looking car skin there. Let me know in the comments below as well, guys. What skins do you guys want in this event? I really do want to know. Because some of these do look pretty awesome. Obviously, I don't think anyone's going to actually want the purple ones. More people are going to want the actual gold skins because they're going to look pretty awesome. Here's a skin for Seer. Pretty cool in detail with the green there and like the almost like wood kind of finish there. And then moving over to the Octane skin. Has like that green, kind of like the, the one green that you can actually get on the actual uh, purple skins on a lot of the characters. Kind of similar to that a little bit. Almost like veins going through them, kind of. Then moving over to a Rampart skin. Pretty interesting. That's actually a really cool looking skin as well. So I know this one also has the wood finish on there. I really do like that detail that they put into these. Moving around to the cannon there. It's a little bit of green on the cannon. Not too much detail on the cannon, it looks like. Let's go over to the Rampage. Ooh, that's a pretty nice looking Rampage skin as well. We kind of want to get one of these skins for this gun. I just don't know which one to get. Maybe it'll be this one. Like in that green on there. I do like the uh, the wood finish. looks great on there. Moving over, we have a bunch of hollow sprays now in purple here. Here's the first one. Moving over to the next one. Finders Keepers. After that, we'll have the Get Hyped. And then finally, at the end over here, the last purple item is going to be you're outclassed. Now moving over to the legendary items. I think this is what everyone's going to want to see. And I got to admit, starting right off with the Gibraltar skin. My goodness, this looks absolutely awesome. Just look at that shield. Like, bruh. That is really cool looking. So obviously you want to get this 2,400 materials, which is a lot, honestly. Or 1,800 uh, coin there, which is basically what a lot of the legendary skins cost. Got to admit, though, this skin looks absolutely amazing. So if you guys did theoretically want to get all the gold skins... It's going to cost you 28,800 material, which I don't think I've never seen anybody with that many before. Moving over to the Revenant skin. Ooh, that looks absolutely insane as well. Any Revenant main out there is definitely want to grab this one. Ooh, man. These gold skins look absolutely amazing. Here, moving over to the R99 skin. Now, I've been seeing a lot of controversy with these because a lot of people want to actually have the other iron sights on the R99 from the other skins. They actually have it on my skin as well, uh, like the Avalanche one. And I have to admit... I see where you're coming from because those iron sights are so much better than the ones that are on this gun. I think that might differ a lot of people away from it because, you know, these iron sights are kind of weird, honestly. But that skin does look pretty cool. I wonder if maybe in the future they can give you, like, an option to change the iron sights, although that would probably be a lot of work to be able to do that. Moving over to the Watson skin. I don't even use Watson, and that does look pretty awesome there. Nice detail. Let's zoom in a little bit there. See the glasses there. Nice coloring. Digging these skins so far in this update, here's a Mirage skin, which we don't get a lot of good looking one of these, I have to admit. A lot of the Mirage skins do not look that good. My friend does not like a lot of these. Hopefully this one actually will be in that category where a lot of people actually grab it. 
cool detail there definitely that skin definitely fits mirage honestly 100 percent moving over to the skin i'm probably going to grab the r301 skin and this thing looks awesome it's kind of dark in this for some reason compared to the one right there if i actually inspect it it gets really dark for some reason uh nonetheless though i really do like the detail on this thing probably one of my favorite r301 skins in the game so far i'm probably gonna have to grab that one i'm not really sure why the coloring's gone when i actually inspect it but who really knows moving over to a bloodhound skin here Mm, I'm getting a lot of pirate vibes here, and that looks awesome, man. They're doing, whew, that's an awesome looking Bloodhound skin. So that or the actual um, Prestige one there. Obviously, this one isn't $160. Moving over to the Mad Maggie skin, which is pretty cool to see as well. Honestly, kind of expecting one of these to be in the game, at least in this anniversary event here, and they definitely did that. Any Mad Maggie uh, mains out there definitely going to like that skin. Moving over to the Wingman skin here, Eye of the Beholder. Now, I think this skin's going to be in the same category as the R99, mainly because the iron sights on these guns seem to be a big controversy because some guns are definitely better than others, at least some of the skins are anyway, and I have been noticing that. I run the uh, Wingless Sun, I think it's called, and I love how that gun actually looks compared to the other ones. Nonetheless, though, this skin does look pretty awesome. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the iron sights on these guns in the comments below, though. Would you guys like an option for that to be in the game or like something maybe with the newer skins have the better iron sights? Who really knows? Moving over to the next one will be a Valkyrie skin here. Who well, has a really cool looking Valkyrie skin as well. So we do get two packs in the uh, prize tracker. So do stay tuned for that video later on today. So that's going to be pretty awesome to see as well. I got to admit though, that is an awesome looking Valkyrie skin. Let's move over to the Bangalore skin, which I might have to grab because I am a Bangalore main. And I have to admit, this is a pretty awesome one. I had the other anniversary one, the uh, Crimson Queen, I think it's called. And I've really been pretty much using that one the entire time, but that might get replaced by this skin here. So here's the detail there. Loving these skins so far. And then finally, the Volt skin, which obviously this gun is in the actual care package here, so don't really get to see this gun too often. Nonetheless, though, this Volt skin looks absolutely insane. I know some people wanted more, like, variety and stuff with some of the weapons. We haven't seen a Havoc skin in a while, which I do agree with. I don't remember the last time we actually saw that skin of that gun in this game anywhere. But luckily, we do get this really cool-looking Volt skin. Let me know your guys' thoughts so far in the anniversary event. What do you guys think of all the items so far, and which one are you trying to get? I also want to show everybody here the anniversary event store as well. So obviously, in the top here, sometimes I have issues with this stuff loading in here. I actually had to close the game like three times to get a lot of this stuff to actually spawn in for me. But the first one here is going to be the Bangalore skin with three of the anniversary packs there. And then over here, we're going to have the Watson skin. Uh, with seven packs there basically for 5,000 credit then down here We'll have the Loba skin which will go away in six days and 22 hours Pretty cool to see these make a return here if you guys missed out on these skins You have another chance to get them getting this one You'll also get the lovely two packs for Loba as well, which is pretty cool only for 1500 credit there Really not too bad and down here. We'll have another skin for crypto which obviously with the buff I think there's a lot more crypto mains currently, but that could change in the future so there's the crypto skin there, and then you'll get two actual packs for crypto as well. Then moving over here, the returning favorites will change in two days and 22 hours. The one here for Horizon. Looks like a pretty awesome skin. Then moving over here, we'll have the one for the alternator, which this gun being on the ground now, I think this skin is going to be pretty awesome to see on the weapon there. Love seeing that make a return. And over here, we'll have a skydiving emote for Octane, which you guys do not have one for Octane. You have another chance to get one here. Or at least add another one for that matter. Then down here we'll have a skydiving emote for Valkyrie as well. And that will pretty much do it for the anniversary store for right now, at least until it actually changes in a couple days. And then obviously six days we'll see different ones down here. Thank you all so much for watching.